All right, everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about M1 Grand muzzle wear gauging. Okay. So, muzzle wear gauging uh, basically means that you use a gauge. These are two different types of gauges do the same thing to gauge the muzzle wear on your M1 rifle. So, this piece of equipment right here is uh, a barrel inside of a gas tube, um, or I should say a gas cylinder, gas cylinder lock, um, and a barrel nut, right? So this piece of equipment right here uh, was actually cut from an M1 that had been turned into a drill rifle. So, naturally, I expected that this piece of equipment would be pretty worn. So, let's check and see if I'm right. First, let's start by talking about the gauges. This gauge measures 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So, anything that measures above a 5... Uh, is is pretty well worn, right? Really, if it measures between a zero and a one, then it's not very worn really at all. You can get a brand new factory barrel that will measure a one. So, here's a different style of gauge. Let's see if I can get that for you. And it goes up to three. Okay? So, what you do is you take your gauge and you insert it into the muzzle of your rifle so that you can read the gauge, right? And you don't force it, right? You just hold it until it until it stops. So, as you can see, we're not at the 2 mark. Believe it or not, this rifle would be considered because it was you know used as a drill rifle you would automatically assume that it was shot out but it absolutely was not before they bothered to cut the barrel which is a travesty so does that make sense all right zero one two so it's not even a 1.5 right that barrel before it was cut up was darn near new. So let's look at it with this one, okay? So you have zero, five, it's at a one. Yep, that's a solid one on that gauge. Same with that gauge. So now what that tells you is the the wear on the rifling inside the barrel, but what it doesn't really tell you about, see if I can get this closer, is what the end of the muzzle, the crown, looks like. So this one has probably been, you know, stood on its muzzle in concrete by cadets and VFW guys and guys that use drill rifles. I mean, that is a crying shame here because you can see the rifling in this, right? Crying shame, isn't it, that this rifle was wasted that way? But if this barrel were complete, I don't know, geez, 30 seconds or less on the lathe, and you could, you could turn this crown down and then countersink it, and it would be perfect again. As it is, there's some nicks. Let me see if I can find some to point with. There are some nicks, like right there. Right there. Right in there. 
on the muzzle of this barrel that would affect its accuracy, right? At least it would affect its accuracy at distance. You know, inside um, 150 yards, you're probably okay with a barrel like that, but you should clean it up. So that's it, short and sweet. I'm gonna do a couple more gauging uh, videos. I just wanted to show you how this works. So when you're out shopping for your next M1 barrel or for your next M1 rifle, you should own these gauges and you should know how to gauge your muzzle. So the other thing that we're gonna gauge is the gas cylinder itself. I'll show you that right here. I have a gas cylinder that we're gonna put a gauge on in the next video. Uh, throat erosion, right, that's a big deal. I'll show you that real quick. This is a throat erosion gauge, right, very similar. This one is for 30 out of six, which is the standard M1 caliber. Um, and I'm also gonna talk about the spacer blocks that go into 7.62 NATO or 308 M1s. So join me for those, and thanks for joining me. God bless America.